hello everyone so today in this uh, common ui based menu system tutorial series we are going to work on this part now here you can see when i choose these options in this pips bar you can see the highlighted section which shows which option that i have currently selected and also it allows us to see how many different options available for this uh, particular setting or option and here you can see we have low medium high the epic cinematic and here we only have enabled and disabled so to represent that we only have two pips so this is the same widget but we based on the values we initialize uh, each instance of the widget we see these pips initialized uh, accordingly so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started, here is the full playlist of the series. And also from my Patreon page, you can download the full project files for this project. Not just this project, once you become a member, you will be able to download all thousands of projects I have done in my channel. And I'll leave the links to everything in description below. Right, now let's get back to today's tutorial. okay so this is what we implemented yesterday here if i go to video settings we have this cycle button implemented which allows us to cycle through options that we have defined for each button so we have this previous option next option button so today i want to add a uh, add pips that shows what is the currently selected uh option and how many options are there for this particular option line so that's what we are going to work on today all right so let me go to the widgets and sub widgets uh and open the rotator and here I want those pips to appear underneath this text so let's wrap this with the vertical button uh, vertical box and let's add an image just a regular image this should not doesn't have to be large so Brush size maybe five, uh, maybe not sixteen. So we are going to add pips here. So maybe we should adjust the size once we have that. Okay, so it will appear like this. And now I have created a simple texture. Let me import it and show you. Yeah, it's just a uh, this image so this is i'm gonna repeat this image to show the number of options that we have so let's create a material with, with this tp at no m ui pips let's call that because this is going to be a UI material. So, material domain to user interface. Final color comes from here. I'll change the blend mode to translucent. Connect the opacity like this. So, now here, if I get text coordinate, texture coordinates, and if I want to repeat X tiling or horizontal tiling, let's multiply this with a vector that only has a value in X and Y should be one because I don't need to repeat this pattern along one, along Y axis. So make load two, as I said, Y 
to find a constant value here and y should be 1 and x I promote a variable a parameter and I'll call it pip count and if I make it 4 you see four pips appear and if you want to have a representation close enough to the actual usage of this material we can change the preview size here okay apply now here I'll choose UMUI pips material so it looks like this but this is not enough we only need to highlight the currently selected option and also there should be number of pips sh uh, that match the number of options that we have based on how we populate this so let's further develop this material let's go here so as i said i need to highlight only one if i uh by divide one by this pip count we will get the value or the length of one of these pips and then if let me add a scalar parameter and let's call this active pip index yeah now if i multiply this value with the active pip index for example let me add two here and then let's put this let's multiply this with what we get here just to see what we get so no we don't get anything meaningful oh here i can break this with the floor two and get the r value which is going to be the x value or the horizontal value and let's use a step node here and put this as the other input and multiply see now when i set this to two only two pips highlighted one only one pip appears zero none four like this five so the max value should be similar to the pip count okay now this is an interesting observation now if we only want to highlight this value only not the not anything below or anything above that we can do something like this here i'll add one to this and then do the multiplication here now this becomes three so actually here I call it index so if the index is 2 index 0 means this one index 1 means this index 2 should mean this one so it makes sense adding it here uh, and then I'll clamp this value here well actually no need to clamp let me just do another multiplication with this value and then put this through another step so here and if i would use this one instead you see only two appears here here only three appears here so why not we just subtract this from this so we get only the one that we need okay so that means here we have a value one and everywhere else we have a value zero so we can so we don't really need to get rid of all the colors in other areas maybe just having some fading out would be enough so let's do a lerp and uh, this 
and I'll use this as the alpha and a is 1 b is let's say 0.4 see oh it should be other way around a is point maybe 3 b is 1 so now we see a clear distinction okay so this way now we have the pips visible and we can see this as the active pip all right now all we have to do is update in this parameters from here as we update the options options so now to do that here we can delete this events that we don't need them anymore and there are a few things that we can override few functions one is on uh, options populated this one so this will be fired whenever this rotator is populated with options and that happens here in the option cycle we call this populate text label when we call this function and pass a new set of options this uh, event will be fired so here we get the count so from here i'll change this image it's already a variable let's call this img pips and from this we can get dynamic material and update this value scalar set scalar parameter value with this count the value name is pip count okay now and there is another one when we change the selection and that is on option selected on options selected similarly i can get the dynamic material oh we can just duplicate the whole thing but the difference this is different active pip index let me make sure name is similar all right now that's all so if i go here see it's already set one two three four five mm -hmm. yeah we have cinematic too and this is highlighted epic is highlighted uh, fourth one is highlighted because this is epic this is cinematic this is low medium high epic cinematic now let's check this in action that is video see cinematic low medium high so it's working automatically and here we only have two options enabled or disabled so to match that you already see only two pips here okay cool so that's all i want to do in this episode so thanks for watching as always updated for advice will be available for download here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in another episode goodbye